Guys, we're back. What yeah. a treat. Yeah. It's time for Point Lookout, yeah. the number one DLC. Dude, the other day I was thinking about it. We didn't even do Dead... What's it called? That's uh, it's because I really think... Uh, didn't we... What is it called? Dead Money. Dead Money. Which, as we know, is a surefire stim pack winner. That's why you do it. We didn't try to do it, no. No, sir. No, we tried doing Smith Casey's Garage. That's what it was. Yeah. I, just I know we tried doing something and it severely didn't work, but I was trying to. It severely was. didn't work. Yeah, but uh, that's usually one of our first ones for a very obvious reason. Uh, I well, I'm not as the much face. as this. I'm not as much of well, a stim guy as you are. I feel. You gotta have them stims, dude. All of Madame Panada's wares. Dude, here's what I've noticed. Not too Do you want to? As I say that, I realize I don't have any stim packs. So we yeah. gotta fix that. So here's the thing. As Man, I'm you gotta run out of money. Yeah. Because we didn't do the thing that gets us all the money and stuff. So as you know. And I know, we monitor our views, what we get, who's watching what. And the, the, the shame of it all is why you have that 832 to 1 plasma rifles? Because I forgot to put it back in the thing. Jeez. As you know and I know from being what to the watchers of our own channel, is that people, people. love our uh, J.E. Sawyer mod run. It's true. They're obsessed with it. You know what? I love it too. It's and here's baby. the thing. It is your baby, for sure. But here's the thing. Who has landmines? People like hardcore. They like to watch hardcore, and they like to watch hard difficulty. So here's my question. Do you want to ramp up the difficulty in this Absolutely game? Absolutely not. <laughs> because I don't... It's not the difficulty that it, that it is. It's just the... It's the amount of damage you take and deal. Yeah. That's fine. I, li I like making the game harder in different ways. Because I feel like the game is... This is bad. Everyone's getting killed now. Because um, I feel like the game is... Took that over penetrating? Whatever. Who cares? I'm setting everyone on fire anyway. Yeah, penetrating's more legit. Hey. Why don't you shut the fuck up for one goddamn second of your goddamn life? Is Ace Bentley gonna come back? <laughs> uh, uh, Good times. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I never, I, cause I always felt the game was balanced. Cause I wouldn't want to adjust the game's balance at all. Yeah. Cause I like. Uh, people always say you should up the difficulty, and I'm like, no, eh. I, I don't see the point. Like, it, it, it ups it in a dumb way, for sure. Yeah, cause I don't, cause, it, cause it, in this game, we discovered it doesn't give you more experience points. Yeah, we did look you're that not, up. You're not compensated for, that's only in three. Before someone comments, look it up. Yeah. I mean New Vegas, not Fallout 3. Yeah, Fallout 3, there is an experience point bump, but Even not Even though this, this game. is a 3 DLC, technically, to, uh, Tales of Two Wasteland is Fallout New Vegas with 3 imported. So it uses that engine. The Where the city's not around. Not. Follow, yeah. She's probably hanging out. Sydney, where'd you get that 357? Um, so we don't have the um, Iron Sights mod, therefore there will be no... Oh, no, uh, Jar uh, Jay Walker. J uh, Jailbirder. Yeah, because we don't need it. Yeah. Uh, which is a shame, because that gun's sweet. We did yeah. find that out, I think, on a previous series. Uh, but it still is rad. Still totally rad. Anyway. Yeah, people always ask us for that, and I'm always like, yeah, I mean, I could talk about it, but... I, I just don't... Does it make it that much harder? ...see too much of a point. Sorry, does it make it harder in a way that's good? Yeah, because it, it doesn't... If it was one thing where, like, the enemies were smarter and, like more capable that'd be one thing but it's not it's just a boring damage increase because guys here's a secret i mean yeah i guess it makes it harder a little bit but well case. here's a secret guys uh, number number adjustments in games are like the most boring changes that you can make yeah i would agree with that so like eh, it doesn't really matter to me at all because like let's face it if if i were to have done that in my run increase the amount of damage taken and, and lowered dealt here's the only difference I would be hitting the down directional pad and taking more stim packs. Yeah. Which I had an infinite amount of essentially, and I could I had an infinite amount of bullets essentially. So all it would be was just me hitting one more button one more time. It's not really that great. I mean, do you guys want to watch us die more? Because even that wouldn't have happened. But in the beginning, it would have been a little more struggle, but not yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. I prefer to make the game more difficult in other ways. Because at least like hardcore and Je Sawyer, those feel a little more rewarding. Because I can, because they offer at least like a really nice role playing element. I feel. Oh yeah. And some people, some people might be dicks and say, "Well, you can still role play, but still not have hardcore mode." Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, that's what I would say. Yeah, I you're. I don't like hardcore. You're right, but I don't know. I like it. I mean, you're allowed to like it for sure. It's just whatever. 
Don't don't nobody think we're casuals though. That would be the wrong thing to think. Dude, because right now a lot of you guy, people. This guy died just as he was repairing the swing set. Sad. A lot of people out there are probably thinking Tom C. D. Marks. You're really belly itching over there. Why don't you guys just stuff it? The answer is we're not belly itching. No. We're not. I, I, I would not say that we're belly itching. We're not just saying this stuff because we're scared. Listen, we've done hard things before. We do hard things all the time. And it's just not yeah, it's, satisfying. It's, it's like we it's like we say about like Saints Row Two and stuff, is that like nobody's impressed that you're you're beating That guy's gotta go. That's bad news. Nobody's impressed that you're beating. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Yeah, because I think I have purifier. You sure do. Yeah. Uh, Excuse Sid me, Sydney. Sydney for real just. Uh, oh, quick shot, McGraw. Yeah, she for real just blatted that guy with her nine. <laughs> well. Oh, a small child died. Hey, shovel. Sweet. I want to be buried Dude, with I've my finest Salisbury steaks. Dude, I missed my shovel. I normally I normally always carry a shovel around. You're gonna get the fertilizer soon. Fertilizer, yeah, that's true. shovel, litter. Guys, this is a, by the way, I'm seeing a uh, a real lack of caramel rat now. I'm seeing. He turned it off for some reason. I don't. It turned really... itself off because the song didn't come in. That's like I got rocked. Now you seem to be on a real rock and. There you go. Yeah, that's so much better. Anyway, um, atmosphere. Well, I was just I was more joking the fact you can really hear it. I know. Um, is our loud gabbin? Yeah, gabbin it's like a, it's like we say. No, he's impressed that you beat Fallout New Vegas on very hard because it's not nah. a skill game; it's a for fun game. Uh, um, yeah, th this is not Dark Souls, which by yeah. the way is not that hard of a game. Uh, it's not really a game where people are like, uh, "Check it out, this guy beat this thing with blah blah blah." Like for real, if you really wanted to, guys, uh, we could do a no stim pack run easy. Could, oh yeah, no Stimpak survival run, sure. Easy mode, we could do that no problem. We, you, how about this, guys? You want to watch us do some more Fallout for the next run? Why don't you guys make a straw poll or something and figure out what we should do next to really prove ourselves to you? I don't care, I'll do it. If you're like, I want to see a run where they only use the dynamite. Dude, I, I was about to say, you want to see a combat knife run? Sure. Sure, I can do anything. Me and D Marks, we're experts. And it's not, we, if you really were desperate, I could do any run of anything on any difficulty, for sure. I think it's stupid, and I could prove to you that it's stupid, but we could do it. Because we're effing experts, we know this stuff. We have player skill, not character skill, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I think about, it's interesting there's not like uh there's not like just a one-handed hammer. Like a, That's like what a, I said, I always said I wanted like a ball peen hammer. Yeah, like a ball peen, too. yeah. This game, you have all the items that are hammers, but you yeah. can't equip them, which is stupid. Because how am I going to do my Hell's Angel run if I don't have a ball peen hammer? I can't do a Triple Corpse Hammer Blow run. Does that involve a hammer? Triple Corpse Hammer Blow is a Children of Bodom song that is after the Bodom oh, yeah, murders, yeah, in which a right. person murdered three people with a ball peen hammer. There you go. Yeah. So, anyway. And the Hell's Angels carry around ball peen hammers because there's, uh, there's not any weapon laws against them. Yeah, you can sure kill some people with hammers. Yeah. MC Hammer would tell you for sure. Did MC Hammer kill some people with hammers, or yeah. did he just enjoy hammer time? No, he's, he's murdered people. Really? Really? There was, a, there was a border? I guess we're on the most western border. A little surprising. That's what I said, too. But here we are. I didn't know I Black Hall was yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's the part that really confused me. Is that I just say we're how much of experts we're in. They're like, Black Hall's this west? Anyway, guys, it's Dude, whatever. I don't know any of the locations in... Uh, <coughs> Dude, this is a this is an outdoor latrine. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I say we should do uh, dead money after this, or in the near future after this, just because of how helpful it is. I mean, I guess. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but listen, you know that those dudes need to be purified for sure. But yeah, we we always talked about doing this run. I always talked about doing a sledgehammer run, which I did. Did you do it on the show? Yeah, essentially I did a sledgehammer run, right? So when I played three, I guess, yeah, the, the original raunchy one yeah. was a sledgehammer run. When I, when I do that, I basically only did that. Um, yeah, I mean, I did the dinner bell run, which of course was easy mode for sure. Yeah, same thing with the medicine stick run. Yeah, so... Which I would say was frighteningly super powerful. I mean, this is a holy weapons run, and it's going pretty smooth. Oh yeah, it's because Gehenna is insane. Yeah. If you guys want to see something, just say it, and we'll do it next run, although that will be approximately three years from now with this run. Mm. 
considering we are on episode 60 and there's been nothing accomplished yet. Well, well, at least for three, we actually can't progress, because I wanted to, um, but we cannot progress until we figure out, because I think I think Sydney's glitch and stuff. I don't think that is true, because there's a chance you could have Sydney in this game by that point, for sure. That's a good point, but it, but I feel like it. I feel like we wouldn't have that, because yeah, it's not. Well, you know what the audience is gonna say. Dump the broad. They're gonna say it. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we can't until we finish the quest. That's, well, that's true. But she, that's because no. she can't die. Yeah. Because guess what? She can't die. It'll be a permanent thing, but you know, people I don't think care that much about Sydney as much as we do. But excuse me. Oh yeah, he's your friend. Yeah, that guy. It's a lot like Les Claypool. Yeah. He apparently thinks there's someone worth killing. I guess it's Lee Oliver's hat. Oh, that's Lee Oliver. Yeah, 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 that's Lee Oliver. Mysterious stranger, because you can do it outside of vats. Yeah. So I think odds are, if I just walk around doing this all the time, he's gonna show up. Um, it's probably probably a safe bet. Yeah, that would be my guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. All I know is you're doing just fine. But yeah, I mean. Really, bro? Come on. Oh, you're right. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, for being a guy who only... Okay. I was going to make fun of him, and then I didn't get the chance because he was killing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm just saying, dudes. I'm glad y'all like uh, the J. Sawyer mod run. A lot of people like a World of Pain run, even though this is basically just a World of Pain run plus. Well, to be fair, I haven't done anything with World of Pain. It's not like I've gone exploring for yeah, World of Pain could. stuff specifically. Yeah, and that's true. But Yeah, I guess we were doing World of Pain. Yeah, in World of Pain, we were like straight up looking for stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Could you ever live in a place like this? Could you live in a swampy area? Dude, if if my way I had to live was wildly different, if the world wasn't how it was right now, I totally could. Uh, sorry, do you mean outside? Or do you mean in a swamp? In a swamp area. Yeah. Sure. Like, if you were living in Marcella's shack, which we haven't run across yet. I mean, are you trying to say in a post-apocalyptic setting or not? No, just in general. Yeah, I totally could. Although I wouldn't love the bugs. I'm not a bug man. Just not. It's the bugs. The bugs. I mean, I, the humidity would be tough. The humidity would be the hardest part for me. I could deal with the bugs, but the humidity would be bad news. I'm a man who enjoys sweating. A anything's better than freezing. I'm telling you. I'm warm blooded. Check it and see. Do, do you have a, uh, some kind of fever? 103. Wow, that's high. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, dude. I, that's that's my zone, dude. Is if you were like, could you live in Marcella's igloo or could you live in Marcella's shack? I'd be like, give me the shack. Man, we're, we're, at the, we're at the northern border, No too. chance right north. Okay. Yeah. My, when I say no chance, I mean that is actually what's happening 100%. Huh. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, guys, it's whatever. Real glad. Now we got some guy who watches our videos who's, like, smart and then knows stuff. Do you know that apparently sneaking with the radio doesn't affect sneaking at all? That doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right, but that guy said it was true. That guy knows it all. I'm not, I'm not sure if I believe Dude, that. His avatar picture is Spock. Do you know more than Spock? Maybe. I know more about emotions than Spock. You're thinking of data. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dignify that by correcting you. Thank you. Cause I don't know crap about Star Trek and I'm not about to start. This guy just hanging I out. I was about to say he doesn't need Ooh! I like how he gets a new hat every time. I didn't realize that. I feel like he's glitch. Uh, maybe it's this. Maybe. Well, no, because I can't go into the tranquility thing. But maybe it is this guy. Maybe he counts as another companion or something. I don't know. I want to know if he's instant killing people. I think so. Because they're not. They don't normally explode like that. I mean, yeah, but that could be anything. Yeah, my guess is he has a bloody. He has a bloody mess perk. And uh, and a an extremely high damaging uh, blade. You should kill him and steal his sword. Uh, I probably can't. I'm gonna kill you. Are you being serious? Are these guys serious right now? Anyway. Don't worry. 
I delivered them. You got deliveranced. Where the hell is that safe? Yeah. Oh. Is this beeping going on outside? Is it a beep house? Dude, I've heard some weird noises actually coming from, uh... Basement? No, from, uh, the house, the couple houses that away. Dude, you got your sonic ear on? You're hearing a few houses away? Well, it's no, it's normally when I get, it's normally when I get home from work. Like, late at night. What are you hearing? Is it like a, a howling wolf? No, not like that. It feels almost like a whistling, almost. That could be me. I whistle a lot. I whistle in the future. Outside, very far away from our house? Yeah. Well, kind of a wandering whistle, where anywhere I'm whistling, it gets to your ears, I think. I think, you got, I think you're honed in on it. So, yeah. So, I've been hearing some weird whistling noises. Uh... I'm not sure what they are. Uh, can you give me an example of a weird whistling noise? No, I can't. I can't. I can't really describe it. Maybe it's a bug. It's not really. A, it's not super a whistling sound. It's just the closest description I could give. Okay, well it could be a bug. Hey oh, asshole! Yeah. I don't understand. It could be a UFO. Yeah, I was thinking UFO. I was also possibly thinking demonic cult. That would be interesting. Do we have any weapons that could potentially deal holy damage? In the house? No, yeah, I don't think so. Not in the house? I, I forgot to bring my Bible. That should be a no-brainer. I feel as though my sword is probably dealing holy damage. By virtue of what fact? Um. Well, it was my grandpa's sword, and he was a, a noble spirit. So it's definitely not dealing dark damage. Um, I feel as though he was a person who went to church a lot. So... In that it is probably holier than I am, it is a holy weapon. Dude, have enough double wear shotguns? Jeez. Should hand that to Sydney How and see if she works. embarrassing for you. Did they change double barrels to 20? That would not be acceptable to me. Okay, That's good. I just figured because he was carrying that, that around. I don't know why. But yeah, ba -da -ba -da. could you live in a shack like this? Looking sure, on this, sure I could. Looking on this bog, this bayou. Dude, I would even be into eating fish if I could catch them. I think. I think that's the difference for me. I think you give me a fish to catch, and I'm going to eat that. Uh, well, I've actually, yeah, I've told that very fresh fish is taste much. And you know what also a big part of it is? Um, it depends how clean the water where the fish are living is. For sure. Because if there's a lot of contaminants, that's what actually makes them smell. I was about to say that. Because because from what I, I understand, that smell, I'm 100. percent Because from what I understand, fish don't really have a scent. Yeah, they're, if like, they're like they're like vodka. Yeah, if they're like raw. Guys, quotation marks. Tom C. 2015. Fish are like vodka. It's basically 100 percent true. Mm. Dude, you've somehow stumbled on every important location. Oh, I I kind of knew where this was going. I knew where this was going. Yeah, I had an idea of where this all was. Well, Someone, someone's having fun, though. Yeah, you got reavers right here. <laughs> not that it's a big deal. Because it's not. Guys, speaking of things that aren't big deals, this episode's over. It's kind of a big deal. To somebody, it is a big deal. But not to us, because we have a lot more coming on the next thrilling episode. Guys, we'll see you later. Video.